Okay, hello there guys, welcome back to another LibGTX video game tutorial. So, uh, before I start the tutorial, let me show you what I did here. Most of the games finished now. I'm just adding more enemies and uh, adding bosses. So this one uh, has a different uh, approach to its uh, working, as you can see here. And you can see the core color changes with the uh, different hits okay if that makes sense so uh, and it detects you hit the ball in the center or the sides of the ship so what's happening here so basically what i did is creating two separate sprites one for the ship one of the for the core and if you place them one on top each other you will find that this one fits exactly into this place resulting in the enemy you saw earlier now we need to link these two together so that they have the same motion so what i did is the following in the surprise class i added a flag indicating that an enemy could be hurt and added a boss sprite so basically basically uh, I am going to tell the game that this sprite, which is the core, has a boss, and it is this one. Okay, uh, so uh, if this one get destroyed, this one get destroyed as well. This is the basic idea, and also the uh, direction or location of this one is equal to its boss. Okay, so. Uh, let me go and show you the classes so we have where is that where is the boss enemy let me show you the class quickly this is the collision detection files okay where is the boss enemy there you go this is the boss enemy very straightforward so we have a, uh, a shooting timer here uh, we set things uh, normally okay and I want its HP to be a big number it doesn't matter uh, also the score doesn't matter uh, anyway we just create this this represent the outer shell represent this uh, golden colored uh, spaceship okay uh, the rest is very straightforward uh, I have no rotation angle and you know I just update things normally in terms of motion so if uh, the spaceship is uh, out of range uh, you know uh, in terms of y-axis we make it move forward towards the player otherwise we make it move left and on the right and speed x ha has a positive value so if it is beyond the width of the uh, display uh, convert that to negative and start checking on the other side that's it very straightforward nothing much to that now if we go to the boss core which present the simple uh, circle uh, and the enemy now uh, the same things here we are setting except except uh, for the update part I didn't use the basic class update instead I told the game that it's X and Y should equal to the boss so whenever the spaceship the shell of the spaceship move the core will move with it okay and uh, that's it I don't think I even need this one because I don't have any other statements very straightforward code anyway um, I'll leave it here it doesn't affect anything now uh, let me show you how I loaded this one okay so uh, first let me go to assets and uh, let's go to stage let's go to stage 6 it's just a single line enemy of type 4 uh, I set its location uh, I am already ignoring these uh, this value uh, right I am ignoring these 
uh, these two and this one they are all being ignored so no problem there okay but we have this one right enemy type 4 so how are we adding two sprites this is very straightforward if we go to the stage management uh, you can see here uh, let me remove this one so if enemy type is 4 which is me which means there's a boss enemy so uh, I create a new boss enemy that's fine and add it then I create a core and indicate that the core which is sh2 here has a boss and the boss is the shell of the spaceship and add it and that's it that's it now what special treatment does the code need in order to indicate the number of things is, is the following if we go to the main game class here this is going to be very straightforward so if two surprise are colliding okay then I'm gonna use this flag can it be heard and the default value for this one is true however for the boss enemy this one cannot be heard so uh, where is that can be heard is false meaning that it can absorb your shots okay so this part of the code will not get executed resulting in the code going to the else part where I play the metallic sound and remove the shot okay however if uh, the enemy can be shot we will reduce the hit point and if it get destroyed if it, if it get destroyed uh, the game will check that if it has uh, this enemy has a boss as a result I remove it and reduce J the reason for that if I remove the item from the list uh, basically the counter need to be reduced by one because everything gets shifted once okay we don't want to uh, cause any problem in the code uh, right yeah and uh, yeah because basically basically what's happening is that uh, let me say uh, is this accurate the J oh yes uh, the reason for that exactly here we are removing the shell and in the stage loader we are adding the core after the shell so when we remove the boss, okay, the shell will be shifted by one. For this very reason, I am reducing J by one. Okay, this is very important to do. And that's it. This is the whole thing and you get this nice boss uh, uh, that you should hit it at specific location. Now, let me show you something else. Now, when I want to destroy the boss, I have its hit point so I will get the color uh, for the sprite batch I will get the current color and make a number of changes so if the hit point is 15 or 14 make the color white if it is 13 or 12 make it light gray if it is 11 or 10 make it green 9 8 7 yellowish and so on uh, you know what I don't think yellow is a good choice so I will change this so each three shots will change one color so it will be white gray yellow orange and red okay this will be much better so uh, I will change the color for the sprite patch based on the hit point update things and set the color back to the way it was so it does not affect other rendering in the game and that's it so now the game has bosses. Uh, let me run this again. Okay. So now, very straightforward thing. As you can see. Okay. I'm going to destroy it in a second. And. 
and as you can see this is how you make a boss so uh, I think that's it for the series itself we are now just adding enemy and cool things uh, we finished adding weapons and uh, you know effects and sounds and stuff like that so I suppose that's enough for this set of tutorials I hope you found this useful uh, that will be all and hopefully I'll meet you in another uh, set of tutorials thank you and have a nice day bye bye